Good afternoon, ladies, and thank you for joining us in Far Above Rubies today. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to come to you with a very short devotional um, thought from Psalms chapter 100. Verse 4, I have some of the earliest memories of memorizing scripture about this verse. I learned it when I was a very little girl. It says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Now, this has given us a little clue, a little insight into a way that we can approach the Lord in prayer and show Him honor. There is no requirement for how we approach the Lord in prayer. I can stop what I'm doing right now and I can say, Jesus, I need you, and He's there. But David is showing us how we can bring honor to Him, how we can show reverence to the Lord. And he paints a picture of the Lord being our King, and He's got these gates and a court inside the gate. So he says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and then into his courts with praise. You're approaching the Lord closer and closer as you start your prayer off with thanksgiving. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings you've put on my life. That's how I talked to him this morning with my little boy in my lap. I started talking to the Lord and saying, thank you for my beautiful home. Thank you that my husband works so very hard and has a great job. Thank you for the food that we have to eat and the clothes on our back. Thank you, Lord, that you have been faithful. Thank you, God, that you have blessed us and you've never left us. And then you move on to praising who he is, not just what he's done for you, but who he is. I praise you, Lord. I praise you because you are faithful, because you are merciful. I praise you because you are from everlasting to everlasting. You are unchanging. You are constant. And as you move through these couple of little steps, you're drawn closer and closer into the presence of the Lord. So enter into his gates, the outer area, with thanksgiving, and then into his courts, closer to the king, with praise and adoration. It says, be thankful unto him and bless his name. David's just given us a little instruction, not of how we have to approach the Lord, but of how we can show him honor and reverence and love and adoration. So your challenge today is to read Psalms chapter 100, little short chapter, it's beautiful. It says, it's God that has made us. We haven't made ourselves. We're a product of his hands. Beautiful chapter. Uh, read that chapter today. Share something below that stood out to you. And uh, work on praying this way, even if it's just now and then in your prayer time throughout your week um, and throughout your weekend. Approach the Lord with thanksgiving first then with praise. And then when you've got the Lord's attention, that's when you pour out your heart to Him and your heaviness to Him, your burdens and your cares to Him. Um, I think that's my only two challenges for you today. I'm so glad that you're all here each and every day. Tomorrow you've got a wonderful Pastor's Wife coming to you as a new guest speaker that we haven't heard from before, and I'm excited to listen to her. Make sure you tune in then. And if no one has told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished. You are so valuable. You have worth, my sweet sister, and that worth is far above rubies.